Hi, Cappy. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Awesome. I still got my socks on. Me too. <laughs> it's chilly. But mine are those weird half sock things. Yeah. Weird how escape won't get me out of that. What do we have to do now? What's on our list of to-do stuff? Is there any extra stuff? That's what I'm looking at right now. The Attican Traverse for the Rachni. Oh, we could definitely do that. Oh yeah, we should do that. Citadel, Arya. Okay, that's something else. I think we already did that. We have a couple of things to turn in. We could also see if a rune has opened up yet. Okay. But yeah, let's start with uh, Atacan Traverse the Rachni. Yeah, and then we can see if the other place is open and then go to the Citadel. And if we go to turn something in and we still don't have it, then we can backtrack a little. Yeah. Before we do the priority mission on the On the Citadel, Citadel. yeah. Yeah. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. That'll be relatively short. Like me. <laughs> hey, Baka. Dalatras, Commander, I am deeply disappointed in your actions on Chachanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the Genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat is passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy uh, will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Uh, they'll seek revenge. The Solarian Union will be amongst the first targets. The blood of my people will be on your hands. I'm ashamed to also learn that our scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. <laughs> wow, what a bitch. The world's smallest violin plays for her. Oh, yeah, I know, right? From Rex. I'm <laughs> making babies. Making again. babies again will be fun. As <laughs> soon as this war is over, uh, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelfic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. General Corinthus, uh, when you first arrived here, I had a hard time seeing how, how how you flying off without one of our best generals, I'm sorry, with one of our best generals, uh, would benefit us against the Reapers. However, I watched and as Krogan fighters returning together, blah, 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 they like it. Okay. Shiala. Don't know if you've seen the articles, but the uh, people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. Uh, this time the Reapers instead of the Gath. Shala was the lady, um, Zeus Hope was Pharos with the Thorian Creeper, the giant plant monster that spewed out Asari clones. Right, okay. This is, this is the lady that was the last clone that got spit out. Oh, okay. And we were all like, you can live just to help the people rebuild. So she's basically saying, we're rebuilding and we're helping you fight. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Hey, the colonists. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. It's also important to read your journal stuff, because if you hadn't, we wouldn't have... Uh... Yeah, exactly. All right, so you want to start with Attican Traverse, right? Correct. Okay. That's the... The Rachni. Right. Oh, there's the Cerberus fighting ba fighter base we just explored. Attican Traverse. Dude, that said Krogan DMZ on it, the one below. That's where we are. Oh, and that says 100%. Yeah, so we've already got the stuff there. Investigate missing scouts. 
Attican Besa. And the Nima Cluster. That's not the Rachni, though. I thought it was... Wait, is it? The Krogan Scouts that went missing. Oh, I think you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry. nothing to scan here. What do you okay. want to take? We'll take Javik and... <laughs> I made a noise with my mouth. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to think. That's okay. Um... I guess we'll try... I don't know. I'm sleepy. Let's go with Liara. Let's have a like a, another biotic heavy person. Just okay. To, just to switch it up a little bit. This is Javik's got that and that. And Liara. Yeah, not the Acolyte. I'm gonna give you the Phalanx too. High caliber barrel and the scope. You don't need a thermal clip. Let's give you the scope on that one and the barrel. Okay. Yo, what's up, Stan? Ooh, we have 12 points. That's awesome. Damn. That's great. Okay, Shockwave is going to get maxed out. Recharge speed by 40% or suspends the targets in the air. No thanks. I'd rather the recharge speed re be reduced. And let's go ahead and upgrade Reeve. I use that a lot. Increases effectiveness against armor and barriers or increases the, du the damage, the duration, and the damage protection bonus I receive. Hmm. That's significant right there. Yeah. Let's get that one. Okay. Let's upgrade her singularity. Increase her radius. Uh, inflict. Yeah, let's have it do dot damage. And we'll upgrade her max. Recharge speed of all simp squadmate biotic powers. Yeah, dude. So that means when she comes with me, my, my powers are just that much more powerful. Cool. Javik, uh, we'll wait on him. Has there been any change in the situation, Commander? Our backup's waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Krogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from the Tarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Your reports from Tuchanka confirm the Rachni have returned and are on the move. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. Jesus. We didn't have to face the entire Rachni army. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. It's been years since you released the last Ragnar Queen on the condition she'd disappear forever. She was desperate to save her race. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. 
That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. What happened to you? Sounds familiar, Grunt. How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. <laughs> I bet some didn't like a tank bread Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. It's good to have you here. You sound so much more I know, energized I'm now. Excited. That's why I was kind of glad you chose this mission. Yeah, because I got to see. Yeah, I was, you're all like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm in a better mood now. I'm tired. I hurt my back this morning, so I was just like, oh, I'm a little low energy, but now I'm pumped. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on Normandy. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? Mm. You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. <laughs> Ask me later. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever you say. We've seen some Rachni, Grunt. The Reapers got to them. But we don't know if Rachni are involved here. Our job is to find out what happened to the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. A nest might be fortunate. We could end this here. Heh <laughs> <laughs> luck, company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. I really do like Liara's dark outfit, too. Yeah, doesn't it look better? Yeah. That's also why I wanted to bring her. I was like, it's a shame to just leave her behind. Yeah, you should check out her new outfit. We got her. Yeah. High caliber pistol barrel again. Nice. Ooh, the claymore! Okay. <laughs> now everyone who gets the uh, everyone who uses shotguns is going to switch over to the claymore. That shotgun is so fucking powerful. Their base camp has been decimated. The Krogan are overconfident. It's their weakness. Does the barrel automatically upgrade? It does. Good. Does anybody here use shotguns? Nope. Okay. Does James? James does. Well, that's good, because I really like the team of Javik and James, but... Yeah, you do. I keep trying to vary it, but I guess it doesn't matter. Right nah, not really. Right behind you. Oh, crud. Shepard! You in one piece! Looks like we're all okay! Keep in radio contact! On our way! Mm. Do you think we'll find Rachni down here? Yeah! Cappy says no. I see it. Grunt, got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Is that webbing? Looks like it. That looked neat. Stay close. 
close, it's easy to get separated. Agreed. Everybody be ready. No. Happy said no. <laughs> oh. Anyone see that? Confirm. Oh, crud. I see something. We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Those cords, Shepard. Reaper technology. Maybe. What? I think I accidentally set myself on fire. That hurt a lot. Is that everything burnt? Yep. So we're going to swap weapons here and get a nice full one. Heavy weapons aren't a thing anymore in Mass Effect 3. No. No, you pick them up in a mission, but as soon as you switch to another weapon, your character just drops it. Roger that. Grunt, Rachni presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. <laughs> Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. Yeah, it's their little splurts. They give out little splurts. Hot. So don't stand next to them. No question, Reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Awesome. Uh, our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on! What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. Well, that hurts my feelings, Grant. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Mm. Here we go. Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. What'd you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. They also trigger if you get too close to them. I didn't know that. Okay. What'd you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. Okay. That ammo. Yeah. Ah, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. A large area, Commander. Expect trouble. Doing good so far. Yay, us. That's adorable, by the way. <laughs> Help keep the morale up. Stay low. Don't let it get a beat on you. Shit. We must be careful. 
Getting close, Shepard. Some heavy fighting. Tough bastards. Hey, what's Casualty? up, Eternal? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. <laughs> Don't worry, man. We just started. Making cabbage borscht. <coughs> no thanks. Yeah. Eh, I'll pass. The Reapers are breeding an army down here. Rachni Reapers at an alarming rate. This place would hide their numbers until it's too late. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. I like, uh, what is it that's cabbage that I like? Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. My mom loves cabbage soup and stuff, so she would, she'd be all for it, but I have a textural issue with it when it's cooked. I like it raw. Hey, mom. You also don't like soups, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't like soups. Or stews or anything. Stews are okay. I just don't eat the broth. You just want meat. Yeah, I want meat and potatoes and shit. Yeah, you find raw cabbage and, like, salads and stuff here. It's pretty common. Oh, crud! I think he'll be okay. <laughs> Rogan, yep. You sure are, buddy. Yeah. Raw cabbage? Yeah, you know what cabbage is like before you cook it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a power node. Like I Come said, on. salads. Here. So just cabbage, I guess. I always liked salads with, like, raw cabbage and, like, radish and stuff. And mom says coleslaw, yeah? Yeah, coleslaw. Oh, I love coleslaw. I like coleslaw on my hot dogs. Thanks, Shepard. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper tech. <clears throat> we ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. <laughs> Krogan! 
Get ready! It's fucking awesome, isn't he? Yeah, and that's why I just love Krogan so much, because they all have that attitude, you know? They all just really love fighting. Well, shit, that's not- I, I wanted to see if that- I thought that was full, and it ended up being my weak one. And then the full one disappeared. Oh, Damn that it. sucks. Four eggs. Take it slow. Alright, that's a dot, so y'all are gonna die. Oh yeah. <clears throat> The noise I was making with my back. I know, right? That does not look like a Rachni nest. Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. <sighs> I think somebody shot him, yeah. Damn it, Liara. You're like, Garrus, you useless. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's the builds. I know that they can be like super squad or whatever, but... That's not very fun for your very first playthrough. No, no, no. I'll do that when I do my really difficult playthrough. I'll, yeah. I'll make sure to scope out their builds properly so that I get, like, invincible yeah, people. I'll just go back to... I was like heavy people on your wings. There must be more power nodes on the other side. Yay! So are you always like what? Heavies. Yeah. Gotta shoot them in their tummy sacks. <laughs> that guy wants to hold his hand. Hold your hand up. <laughs> hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. He was trying to jam, though. He's breaking the roof. We'll still do that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They did that when I was in high school. <laughs> Raising the roof is totally a thing still.
who doesn't raise the roof in 2018? Exactly. It's you know who doesn't raise the roof in 2018? The guy who let the dogs out. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Cody? Why? Finish the job. Copy that. Goddess. What are you? The last queen. We listen for the children. They are silent. Follow. The, the machines come and take them to war. They die alone. Silent. Far away. The Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. What happened? I let you go back on Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rack and I were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started it. A new home, beautiful children, harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of sour notes drowned us out. Well, it's over now. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our lead company dies. Is that clear? I feel like... Ugh, Jesus. Alright, give me a moment. Yeah, you think. Eternal asks, Hey Matt, why does half of what I say get starred out in the video? I have no idea. I guess, let's... I mean, the, the, the thing she said last time was that the reason that the, the children don't respond correctly is because of the singing. Like, if, if something breaks... You mean, you mean back in Mass Effect 1? Right. It's all about the children not learning the song, or something, like she said, something soured the note, the Reapers did this. Mm -hmm. The children aren't inherently bad, it's the song that affects them. So, I trusted her before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust her again, and I'm gonna help her. Hope Listen up! Our <sighs> company holds the Rachne off while the Queen escapes! We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way. Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Don't, don't kill us.
That's a good scene too. That, yeah, I like that. What's up, Revolution? That's the kind of thing that I like on the wallpaper where I put uh, Zaid. That kind of stance. <laughs> <laughs> I love Krogan so much. The shuttle's down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? Just lost Morden. I can't keep losing people. <laughs> I'm reviewing your report on the Rakhni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rakhni Queen. Showcase your bits! We bets. got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, <laughs> Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rakhni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. You okay? Yeah. I just got... When that music started, it was like all epic, and I was like, Oh my god, did I save the queen and kill Grunt? Because I will fucking go and murder her face. I don't even <laughs> care right now. <laughs> Saku said, Did you really think you could get rid of Grunt that easily, Cappy? I just lost Morden. I'm just on edge. I was terrified thank you for the bits yeah saku with the 1000 bits revolution is also asking do you, are you enjoying mass effect 3 yes it is amazing but also stressful and <sighs> rack and I workers a hundred uh we got more alliance people zoo's hope oh that's right i'm gonna throw my lunch in the microwave as you check these okay we got Arlac Company giving us. Uh, check this out. Ar you don't have to be here for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Arlac Company gave us fifty points. Uh -huh. Grunt himself is twenty-five. <laughs> Grunt is worth half of Arlac Company. That's awesome. Cappy's gonna go microwave some lunch for herself real quick. Next, we're going to go and do the N7 Cerberus fighter base. That takes four minutes. You probably freaked the high heck out of the Crucible engineers bringing back the Rachni. Category six after Eden Prime. Uh, yeah, six. Damn. Well, if I were on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it. Said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus.
What will be in Hackett's comms eventually? Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Hmm. Adams would like to speak to us in engineering, huh? Okay. What's up, Adams? Edie doesn't hide with the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely space-worthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind in the Normandy are a whole deep. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. <laughs> no, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship so we have to choose someone to back here. Oh no, what? Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely space-worthy prior to my installation. Well, See, Edie isn't Edie the Normandy. With me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. Jesus. Edie agrees with me. So do you consider well, Edie to be... Our brains right, hold on, guys. Yeah, sh shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. That is I have to... Oh, my organic. God. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the... Oh, my God. He doesn't take over... Let me walk out of engineering. I'll come back. Yeah. When I can't think of them talking. She's piloting just like Joker. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, do you feel like Edie and the ship are one and the same connected? Physically can't be separated from each other? Or do you feel like Edie is, n is separate from the ship completely and can be removed? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Yeah. Well, you got a minute or two. I mean... Obviously they were right that... Normandy was a ship before Edie, but... Now that she's been integrated in it, could you separate it? They wouldn't do the same. Yeah, it's, it's basically framing the link between the body and the soul just with an, a shipboard AI and a vessel instead of a person. So, like, I would think of Normandy as the body and Edie as the soul? That's basically what they're insinuating, yeah. Well, if we, if we pose it that way, I don't think that you can separate it and have it be the same. So, in that case, you would support Engineer Adams. Yeah. You want to do that? I want to not drop food on the floor. That's what I want to do. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Well, it was... How long was it down there? Like eight seconds? Yeah, it was barely anything. Oh, eight second rule. In the Normandy, just like us, the ship was a speedy can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. <laughs> so what well, do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? Yeah. I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's gonna explode. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... Ugh, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Yeah, I mean, I'll ask why, but I'll say yes, I'm gonna do it. Did you want to go get your thing? Oh, did it beep? I don't hear it anymore. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Lunch! Cappy's getting her lunch. Was it done? I think it's because, I think it's because you were, um, you were thinking about the debate between body and soul at the time. 
So you were like, oh, I'm confused. So everybody, how are y'all? How are you guys enjoying Cappy's Let's Play of Mass Effect? They hate it. <laughs> they do not hate it. It's kind of nice. I, I feel like it's kind of nice rewatching the series and being able to see it through another person's eyes who hasn't experienced it before. Because, you know, it, it always gives you the same feelings on on subsequent playthroughs that it did on the first time, but they're never quite as a shock. Well, and you get to relive all of those firsts through me. Yeah. So it's nice for you to, like, get to look over and see my reaction or see, you know... I, I really enjoyed... I. I both enjoy. I told her about this last time. I both enjoyed <laughs> and didn't enjoy watching her cry during the Ch yeah during the Chichanka yeah. Morden scene. I cried, not once, not twice. Yeah, you cried like three, three times, three or four times. So we talked the day. about it afterwards, and, and it was still too fresh crying. when I started crying again. Yeah, it hit me hard. All right, I am ready. Oh yeah, why do we need this? Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. All right. So we need to keep an eye out for a GX-12 thermal pipe on the Citadel. There's a message for me at my private terminal, she says. Hope lives from Erdnot Bakara. I'm writing you from the Kelphic Valley at Tachanka. I wish uh, you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from all across the planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision... Excuse me. Your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and spreading the words of the uh, No Krogan has hear, heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. That's so awesome. Isn't that nice? Rex, sounds like I missed a hell of a fight, Shepard. <laughs> I wish I could have been there. I'm not surprised you cut some deal with those bastards, but I, I don't trust them. Hmm. Uh, lost some good people down there. They get out of line again, and it's on you. Arlac Company took some hits, but I'll make sure they give you a hand. Can't believe a war's going on, and I'm stuck keeping the peace. Keep your gun close. <laughs> Alright, you want to go do that Cerberus fighter base? Yeah. Fighter base. Fighter base! I don't know, I think maybe next stream we'll do the uh, the flying around from sector to sector and scanning everything, just so we don't miss something. Okay. You can always do that a day where I'm like, I want to play, but I have a headache, or I'm like, not feeling super energetic. Yeah, so we just fly around and, and mess with stuff. Is that your tummy? No. I heard something. Maybe it was my butt. I mean... Crying means it's working, you're getting invested in the characters. I mean, you're not wrong. That's why Matt talks about that it, he likes seeing that it, I have that reaction because he knows that I love the game. Yeah. I, I, like, but... I like seeing her cry, not because I like to see her sad and, and crying, because I hate that. 
But I love seeing the fact that she got so invested in the story and in the characters that it's evoked that much of an emotional response from her. Yeah. That's what I like. And I get that. You're not like, haha, cry, bitch. Yeah, take that. <laughs> All right, so. This is a... Uh... Well, let's just go back to our the team I always choose. Javik and James? Yeah. I like those guys. <laughs> the J Squad. Oh, and you'll be able to give the one guy the shotgun. James? Yeah. The J Squad. I like that. There it is. The Claymore. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? We got Shredder Mod, a blade attachment, high caliber barrel. The choke increases accuracy. You can't have the choke and a high caliber barrel, can you? You keep what? I mean, okay. If you can have a choke and a high caliber barrel, I'll take it. <laughs> what is this? Piercing. What else? Oh, we got the high caliber barrel. Let's put that on there. Okay. Four points for me, I'll save it. Because I want to put it into... I want to put it into fitness first, and then I'll start putting points into warp. Increase squad health and shields by 20%. Increase your health and shields by 40%, and your melee by 100. Let's do squad, just so I get the bonus from that. Yeah. Vengeful Ancient. Increase squad, power damage, duration, and force by 10%. Yeah! That affects me! Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. Wow, somebody exploded down there. I just see chunks. Hot. I like how you like rolled right into cover. That was handy, right? Yeah. James? Lieutenant, you're on. Do my best, Commander. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No 
problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning, warning. Security breach. Energy getting locked down, fail safe. Damn it. Outside communications are jammed. Just bring down your defenses. We'll worry about that later. I heard him scream. <laughs> Shit. I changed my mind. Oh god. That that was a problem. You put a damn turret right on the edge like that. What a dick. Okay, got it. Jesus. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Atlas! Give it everything you've got. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Yeah, I remember having a lot of problem with that too. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. 